the US-made AGM-114 Hellfire Anti-Tank Guided Missile, ATGM, is one of the most common and important Helleborn weapons of the Western Bloc. Designed to serve as an equalizer against superior numbers of Warsaw Pact tanks at the height of the Cold War, this missile continues to find a place in munitions and battles that were largely discounted in its infancy. Development of this weapon began in 1974 as a U.S. Army program. In its conceptual phase, the AGM-114 was known as the Hellfire, a portmanteau of helicopter launched fire and forget. The Hellfire by 1978 had become a joint program U.S. Marine Corps as well. The Marines had a requirement for essentially the same type of weapon, and Congress directed that they co-develop the Hellfire. Test firings began later that same year, with operational testing was reportedly completed in 1981, and the AGM-114 achieved initial operational capability with the U.S. Army in 1985. All variants to date, with the exception of the AGM-114L, employ semi-active laser guidance. The missile homes in on a laser spot produced by a laser designator. The aircraft employing the Hellfire usually have their own laser designator, but the target can be lased by another aircraft, a fighting vehicle, personnel with a man-portable designator, and so on. As such, the aircraft launching the missile needs only point it in the right direction and launch it for helicopters. This allows them to remain terrain masked without having to expose themselves to possible detection and or hostile fire. Another advantage unprecedented in air-launched ATGMs is that multiple missiles can be launched simultaneously at an individual target, greatly increasing the chances of destroying the target. However, the greatest advantage is in the ability to engage multiple targets simultaneously by ripple fire, the launching of multiple missiles in tandem at a close group of targets, and then designating one after another as the missiles hit them. The AGM-114L Longbow Hellfire is unique in the series for employing a millimetric wave, MMW, active radar homing guidance system in place of the usual laser seeker head. This missile's distinctive name is a reference to the AH-64D Apache Longbow, whose sensor mast atop its rotor hub has the ability to detect, identify, and engage targets using the Longbow Hellfire. The guidance method differs from anti-aircraft and anti-ship missiles, however, in that rather than simply homing in on a coherent radar reflector, which would make attacking a ground target impossible in most conditions due to ground clutter, the seeker head instead locks onto an object that stands out in three dimensions from the rest of the terrain. Thus, although the sensor system is radically different, the Longbow Hellfire recognizes and homes in on its target in much the same manner as electro-optical guided weapons of years past, by image recognition. As a result, this variant is a completely fire-and-forget munition, requiring no input from the operator aside from cueing the target and launching the missile, which eliminates the need to launch multiple missiles in tandem at one target in order to attack many, as described above.